For Cardiff student Catherine, everyone should feel comfortable with who they are. That's why she gives talks in schools. It goes through my mind that I wish someone else had been there to do that for me when I was 15, 16. And that because when Catherine was growing up, she was bullied because of her sexuality. School's not like an easy time for anyone, but I mean, when you're actively being bullied, it can make such a difference to like lessons, concentrating, coursework, asking teachers questions can be time terrifying because you're going to be like, what are they going to say the moment I put my hand up and say something? So it's a case of, you know, pushing through that pain that comes from that and sort of make, pushing it into something good. So I'd ask you to join in welcoming Kat and Natalie. So Catherine is part of a group who visits schools to challenge discrimination and encourage equality. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for having us here. And they've come um, to the Senate to launch their work in Wales with the full support of the Education Secretary. What we know is that unless children are, feel that they're in a safe environment, in a nurturing environment, that we can't expect them to learn. So getting children's well-being right gives them the best chance uh, they have of doing well in school and fulfilling their potential. And there are already some exciting projects. Charlie and Lily are part of a group at a Cardiff Comprehensive promoting more open conversations. Yeah, it's basically a place in our school, it's like a safe space, where members of the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community can come and they can feel safe, but at the same time allies and people who support them can come and and just show their support. Um, it's been quite supporting actually because I've seen like the change in people's like opinions about different certain things and it's quite cool to see how the attitude changed towards like sexual interactions and all that. The Welsh Government is currently refreshing guidance given to schools on bullying and they hope with the help of charities like this everyone will feel safe and supported in school. Megan Boots, ITV News.